There were several reasons we fell in love with Kentucky when we came down here the first time and this is kind of one of those places. You're just 15 to 20 minutes from Danville. Now the farm's over here. I'm going to show you exactly what, what the deal is. But it's so pretty out here. Now this is on Route 78. Wait, wait till you see this here. Look at this. You got this cute little red barn. Look at that barn. Now how cute is that? Gosh. Well anyway, that's right across the street. I'm going to show you here what's going on. So uh, this is 78 here. And I've got a, a color plat, and I'm, uh, I scanned that, and it's here in the, in the website. But see how this dog legs in? The frontage only goes from here to here, which is fine. There's a small house here, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. And then there's another house over here. But they're so old, and they're good, they're fine, and people are living in it. But they're not like a real house house that we're trying to sell so they're kind of just like a bonus all right so they're just real old farm old timey kind of farmy houses but i'm going to show the show you this but anyway that's your road frontage then it goes uh here up and over this hill and then this is like the top of the ridge it goes all the way in the back and then you got this little dog leg now it's actually two different tracks of land you see this line here so there's 99 acres here and 60 acres here more or less so you're looking at about 150 total crazy good deal sincerely now pay attention here if you want some land some recreational land this is a deal okay all right so it starts up here it starts up here and then cuts back you see that so it cuts along the road and then up and over that mountain now there's a couple barns in here and then this really nice beautiful stream and I'm gonna find out the name of it in fact I'm gonna put it right there on the video so you know exactly what it is and then you've got this nice cleared out area here and that little house little they had a little wood stove with a little smoke coming out okay but then here's this creek and don't you know that that's old we're gonna take some more pictures down there just pretty as a picture then it goes down, oh, it's actually, it goes along that creek. See how it goes like that? It goes along the creek there. So there's, this is the end of the frontage here, and it goes that way. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to go down here to this field. This all makes sense once you're here, and I hope it makes sense on the video. But this field, this, that, that bottom land is not part of the property. The trees are kind of like the end of your deal. But on the other side of the creek... He's got the field and then the creek and then the other house is back there, which is right there in that corner. Okay? Nice. When we bought the place where we live, we had a driveway like this for years, many years. You'd go through the creek. Now, this is all stone bottom. So, you know, unless it gets up, you can get across any time during the year. You can walk right across here with all this stone bottom. See it? Um... But you might want to put in a bridge, or you might not. It's kind of quaint. And I'd say about once a year, uh, the creek where I live now, there's a much bigger creek. The creek would get up too high for us to get through, and about an hour or two it would be down. And it would be kind of cool to kind of be snowed in a little bit there. So, but anyway, real beautiful creek. You never have to worry about water. And then it just goes right up over this hill under this flat spot. But now just judging, and I'll get exact measurements for you, but with this much frontage and how wide it gets um, and how deep it is, I guarantee you you're close to a half a mile deep here, half a mile. So can you imagine having that much land? You don't ever have to worry about anybody with that much woods, all, that much cleared area. I mean, you can make a hobby farm out of this in a heartbeat. Okay, so we just came down the driveway and into the creek and of course it's all stone bottom so you can you can drive even with two-wheel drive car see it's like this shaley stuff okay and uh, I just want to show you this this stone wall it's just pretty now I have no idea what its purpose was other than to just divert the water or, but that's a that's a lot of effort there to just to divert water we can drive all the way down this creek to the other house, which is kind of neat. And it, it's one of those things that, uh, God willing, and the creeks don't rise, 
That's this farm. Okay, we just drove through this creek. You saw some of that bumpy ride, I'm sure. That's that bottom part that's not included, but you're, I'm assuming, center, center line of the creek. So everything from the creek over is, is on your land, and then there's the bottom land, and then the highway, and then that red barn. Now, it looks real close, but it's not. You can kind of see how far away it is. It's always good to have farmers for neighbors because they have tractors. And tractors can jump start you if you got a bad battery or pull you out if you, you're in the mud or uh, you know plow your snow or grade your driveway or something like that. Farmers are the best. I'm a, I'm a farmer. Uh, we live on a farm. I consider myself a good neighbor. We're always glad to help the neighbors out and most farmers you're going to find are that way. But anyway, let's talk about this piece of property. This is that second house. Uh, it, it's not, the property line isn't far past this house. And then that's the end, and then it shoots straight back. But wow, what a cool place! And that's a big house. So that was that was something else back then. That's a pretty good sized house. That's a, I'm gonna guess 1,800 square foot house, 2,000 square foot house. Probably needs a lot of work. But again, we're not representing the house. We're representing the land. 150 acres, a screaming deal, a bargain, like crazy money. Okay, talk to Dan. Let's go on in the back. Okay, so now we just pulled up here real quick. Again, the big creek is there. And then look, here's another creek here. Now this is about uh, 10, 12 feet wide. Uh, probably eight foot of water right now, but it's been really dry. So this is going to be a lot higher. And this is the house, the one house. Now, remember, I, I keep telling you about the house and I really shouldn't focus on the house. But I want to let you know about it. It's here. It's nothing for you to focus on because it's 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 not valued so you're getting the house for free but there's uh you know that's there's potential rehab in that you for if you're gonna just you could potentially rehab this certainly enough for a hired hand or for a little weekend getaway you know it's there something to start with this is a heck of a hobby farm 150 acres lots of adventures a lot of memories to be made here with your uh, with your kids, grandkids, uh, brother-in-law, family, whatever, your friends. Come on up here, and uh, you can beat on drums if you want. But there's there's plenty of uh, open grazing land. You can raise some cattle out here. How fun would that be? I get excited when I get to see these pieces of land because I know there's so many dreams and so many memories to be made and it's so tangible. It's a good investment. Lots of adventures here. We're just going towards the back. This goes back as far as you can imagine. Just keeps going back and back. But we're going to cross now this same creek. Now we've already crossed it twice, the little creek. And then we're going to go back up in that field and see what kind of adventures we got there. These little humps here, which are affectionately locally called the knobs, uh, have some incredible views at the top. As you can imagine, you, uh, you just climb up there, or four-wheel, or you have those side-by-side -side vehicles. You get up there and a little picnic place out there. Oh my gosh, a little A-frame for camping. Let's go see what's up here. Here we are in that next field, and remember I told you there's the line fence? Well, there's the ribbon. See the ribbon? Um, so everything's been recently repinned, so you can see exactly where you are. And when you get here on the ground, Dan will take you out and, and you'll look at the, the aluminum pins in the ground so you can see exactly where your property line is. I know a lot of people like that. I personally like it too. Water, water, water. Everybody wants water, and why not? Anything with water on it is way more valuable than property without water. And you can see how pretty this is with plenty of water. 
All right, now we, we just crossed another creek. Uh, what that creek does is it does one of these and the, and the driveway goes the opposite way, um, the drive back here. But anyway, Dan's in a, in a little two-wheel drive, little station wagon-y thing here, and it's getting by just fine. So it's, it's not uh, crazy to get back here. Perfect hunting. Why? Because you've got, you've got food, you've got water, and, and again, you've got plenty of room back here to run 10, 15 head of cattle uh, with, with not feeding them at all. You know, that's the key. If you're going to put a ton of food into cattle, you're not going to make any money or you're going to go broke or whatever that, that looks like for you. But, but if you don't have to feed them and they can just live off the land, that's what we do with our cattle. We let them graze and the way nature intended them, just grass. And uh, you can have yourself a nice little cattle operation back here. Again, super hobby farm, crazy low price. Here we are towards the back of the property, and Dan is here trying to decipher where the end is so he can show you when you get here. It's still back up in there? Okay, so the property still goes way back up in there, and you'll see it better when you come and look in person. And again, he knows where the pins are or he's going to find them. You know, it jig, jig jags a little bit, so we've got we to find all the pins. But it's really nice. You know, I was saying to Dan, it would be very different. We've had a lot of land that's just like that, just that alone up there. And you go, well, that's great. It's a lot of trees. But what makes this really nice is all this cleared area. I mean, there's plenty of places for a cabin. There's so many little creeks going down. If you had 10 kids, you could name a creek after each kid. But there's all kinds of places that are nice, nicely elevated, not yet not steep, with incredible views for you to put a cabin in. Wouldn't that be cool? Of course, you probably have a moonshine still out here. Oh, I didn't say that. Strike that, strike that, strike. Okay, so I was just up at that field there. I mean, just right there on the other side of that stump. And then walk down here through the creek again, another little branch, little creek. And I wanted to show you back in here. Now it's been selectively cut, just very selectively. I've seen timber and you can see there's plenty of timber here. Well, they took some of these monster trees. There's enough tops of white oak trees here, uh, which the, probably the, the logs were used to make bourbon barrels, but there's enough tops of the white oak trees you could have enough firewood forever and ever. Look how beautiful this is. And we got another field, another cleared field back here. We'll keep walking and I'll keep reporting. And here we are even further back. And this is a huge beech tree. They're always one of the last to lose their leaves. Hickories too, I guess it's got something to do with uh, with the nuts. Now the walnuts are down and there are a billion walnuts laying in the creeks and in the fields here. And this is another creek that's a little dry. Well this is it. So we're going to call this nestled in farm because you are nestled in between these hills on this side and these hills over here. You come on down here, let Dan, here's his phone number right here, let Dan show you this property. You build a little cabin, a little recreational thing, something for the family, put in a little A-frame, you do whatever you want back here. 20 minutes to Danville, uh, f probably four or five miles to a convenience store in a little town in Houstonville. Uh, city water, low taxes, and just idyllic. We just set up a huge buck in the back. Come on, we got so many creeks here. Nestled in farm.